CPAP. Once you select the mode, the parameters come up in light grey at the bottom and you can set the values that you wish to have in CPAP. So you set an inspired time, you set a peak end expired time, you set a peak inspired pressure and obviously oxygen. Once you've done this, you press confirm. Once you've pressed confirm, you can see other things that are available to you in this mode. The first thing I'm going to do is to remove the flow sensor. As you no longer have a closed circuit, so there would be lots of alarms if you were to leave it in. So I'm going to remove the flow sensor. And the alarm panel shows continue without flow and you need to press on that and immediately the breath trigger sensitivity bar pops up. Set trigger, you press on the bar and the up arrow and you make the bar to move towards the maximum sensitivity. Now you can see where the infant is triggering his spontaneous breaths and also the number in the right hand side column where it's flashing white or the number of spontaneous breaths and you can see whether he has good enough effort or not. By pressing the manual breath button, you are able to deliver breaths at the pressure parameters that you have set. When you're in the mode and you've confirmed the mode, you have other options available and one of them is the apnea setup mode. In this mode, you can choose an apnea delay time. And this goes from either 0 to 60 seconds but for neonates, it's normally set somewhere between 15 and 20 seconds. You can choose to have a backup breath on, so after an apneic episode, one breath will be given. This breath will be at the pressure parameters you have set, and if the baby doesn't respond, you will get a backup breath every 20 seconds, or whatever the delay time is that you've set. If you watch the screen now, you will see a backup breath being delivered. You can see a backup breath has been delivered. And this will continue every 20 seconds until the infant either rebreathes or somebody attends to him.